All right, next video. Visiting the tribe that eats humans. Cannibalism has- Elvid, this is boring. Yo, that's crazy how I haven't even clicked play yet. I'm walking through the jungle in Papua right now. They're all holding bow and arrows behind me. Okay, yeah, okay. But do they eat people, like, genuinely hunt humans? Or do they eat people religiously? You know what I mean? Like, are they waiting for the person to die, or are they killing somebody and eating them? Like, I feel like that, yes, both are cannibalism, right? But I feel like that has to be a definitive difference he has to, he has to tell me. If they're hunting humans, that's different from, like, spiritually eating somebody afterwards. Traveling to Papua Island in many ways is the pinnacle of exploration. This remote Melanesian island is larger than Texas and is the most diverse place on earth with 312 different tribes speaking over a thousand unique languages. In my eyes, Papua is the- Yo, he coming in clutch with the sensors. Drew Binsky coming in clutch. I can actually watch the video. So it is 6.01 a.m. and I am heading to West Papua, Indonesia to meet the Korowai tribe. However, my camera guy just got denied at immigration. So I'm going in alone and I'm kind of petrified. I would not go. I, yo, I'm saying that right now. Yo, would y'all go? I would go to the island. I would not want to go, I would not want to go uh, like to a cannibal area. See, that's what I don't know. Like if they're cannibals that just eat people, that's different than like, okay, we eat people like when they're a part of our tribe and they die or something like that. Because like that's different, right? Because then I wouldn't be worried that they're going to kill me. But like if they're just genuinely like, oh yeah, no, we hunt and kill, we hunt, kill and eat humans. I'd be like, uh, uh. This is Otis, a friend of a friend of a friend who is from Jayapura. A he friend of a friend of a friend. Yeah. Oh, you want to go, you want to go to this weird house? Yeah, no, it's a friend of a friend's of a friend's. Yeah, you want to go You want to go meet these cannibals? My friend of a friend of a friend's going to bring you. No. Lice I know a guy. Yeah, my friend Johnny's friend Mike's friend's John's friend's Don knows this guy who knows this guy who knows this guy. And that guy lives in Papua. But that guy's friend's friend's friend is this dude, right? And he knows the people in the cannibal tribe. He's going to take you, right? You guys are boys, right? Basically down the line. I'm having weird feelings right now about this trip. I don't know if it's the best idea. Usually it's called trust your gut. Right now my gut tells me don't go. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Domestic Imagine a YouTube headline. YouTuber Drew Binsky went to Cannibal Island to film a documentary. Got killed and eaten. Oh my god. That would be like, I know that's not obviously how it would go down. But that would be fucking nuts. I was sitting on a plane with three strangers and had no idea where I was going. What do you mean you had no idea where you were going? You booked a fucking flight, Drew. I'm waiting for a day that happens to a YouTuber. Like, one of these travel YouTubers, like, genuinely goes out into, like, the Amazon rainforest and just gets, like, actually mauled. Like, oh, like, <laughs> like, there has to be a day that happens. Hey, guys, today we're going into the Amazon rainforest. The, uh, like 30 minutes later, a gorilla is just like, and they're wearing a GoPro too. It's just fucking mauling them. How do they, how do they kill humans? By Really? By yes. Oh, 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 that answered my question. They're not eating people when they die. They're killing people and eating them. Yeah, Drew Binsky, I don't know about it. I don't know. I don't know if you're going to be living through this one, man. Maybe somebody else is posting this for you. I hope they don't kill me, bro. We trekked more than one hour through leech infested- Bro, like, what's saying they don't kill him, though? Like, dead ass. Like, they just kill him and steal his shit. What is he going to do? He's in the middle of Papua Island. A local cannibal cult in Papua Island has killed and ate victims recently documented as recently as late as 2012 in, in a war-based cannibalism. Holy shit. Like, I feel like that says 2012. Is that still now, though? See, this is 2012. I, I gotta see when he meets them. I feel like they'll explain it more when he meets them. I gotta stop asking questions. All right, which way? Oh, dead ass the second they get there. They string up Drew Binsky. They put him on a rotisserie rack. Oh, God. That would be a <laughs> He has the GoPro on. He's laying over the fire. All right, guys, it's not going as planned. They didn't. They didn't take to liking me. I really don't know how I'm going to get out of this situation, but as of right now, it looks like I'm in a bit of a pickle. Is that them? Is that them? 
Shit, Drew's getting fucking really? scared. What does that mean? It's a mean. Okay, we are coming. That's a giving a symbol of that. So this guy in he front just of us. Dome him. Oh my god. From like through the trees, he sees an arrow coming through. He's leading us the way, and the way that they're speaking to them is just screaming through the jungle. Oh, nah. Bro, if I'm him, I'm so nervous. If I'm him, I'm fucking shitting my pants. Oh. Whoa. Hello. Oh. oh, they seem nice. See, I feel like there's a twist. I feel like they don't eat people anymore. I feel like this is this has to be some some type of clickbait. Everything that I hear about, like when I Google yeah. the tribes here, they talk about life 30, 40 years ago, mm -hmm. you know, and they, they were eating people. So can I ask him about that? See this? So they don't anymore. They don't anymore. He did at one point. Uh, he was explained that uh, Momona tribe is never uh, eat people, but the people eat, kill and eat is for white tribe. I quickly came to find out that this is actually the Mamuna tribe, not the Korowai tribe. I was misled here by Martin, but I decided to stay because both tribes live in the same rainforest and they have very similar cultures and lifestyles. The Mamuna and the Korowai are sister tribes, but it's the Korowais who are the cannibals of the two. Nonetheless, I am here to learn all about their fascinating ways of life. Oh, they misled you, Drew. They misled you into the... into the... Coincidentally, the non-cannibal tribe, Drew. Maybe you just didn't want to go there. Maybe you just didn't want to fucking go to the cannibal tribe, Drew. Maybe you didn't go there. That's clickbait. He better pull up there later. Modernization is slowly creeping in, which explains their cigarette addictions, but they still maintain traditions that date back over- Siggies? Siggies? Some Marlboro Reds? I, I really want to know, like, what does human taste like? <laughs> well, that's the first question he asks. That's the first question he asks. Out of anything. Out of anything, bro, could have said. Nah, okay, well, this guy, I'm assuming this guy did take part in the cannibalism, but their tribe isn't anymore. The other tribe is. Bro, first question I'm asking, so, like, do you just, like, like, do you, like, you know, like, feel bad, like, when you would, like, you know, shoot a human in the face with an arrow and then eat them? Or, like, does it, then I would ask the, you know, what does it taste like? Like, like, pig, a uh, milk. It tastes like a male yeah, pig. Milk, yeah. Maybe. That's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. When you were younger, mm -hmm. were you scared of visiting other tribes and they would kill you? For why? Saba. Yeah, he's, 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 he's scared. He's scared with go easy to another people and other tribes. He's scared that yeah. they will kill him. Yeah. All right, let's talk about cannibalism. To most people, cannibalism is one of the most terrifying concepts imaginable. But for some tribe members of Papua Island, human flesh is a dish central to their culture, and it has been for thousands of years. While the Mamunas aren't the ones eating humans, their neighbors are, and Carlos told me some really fascinating things about the Korowai tribe. Some, uh, in Korowai, something like I, I took the one woman from another uh, village, take run away, the another and that. And they talk to you. That's what makes it crazy, dude. If you kill a cow, it's alive. You fucking murder it. Now it's dead. Yeah, but that whole, that whole process, it might moo. But like you grab a human and they know that you're going to eat them. And they're like, oh my God, please don't eat me. And you understand that they're saying that. And then you still kill them. And then you eat them. Knowing that whole time that they were terrified, knew they were going to get eaten, knew they were going to die, were pleading that you wouldn't kill me. Who's one of the women? They will come and kill me and then eat. That's punishment. That's punishment. I learned that the Korowai don't eat humans for enjoyment or nutritional value. It's simply a form of punishment. Steal something, get burned over a fire, and eaten. More specific. Imagine that. You steal from a Walmart in the U.S. Most of the time, they don't even give a fuck. Now you steal from a fucking, like, gas station or a Walmart or some shit. They literally burn you and eat you as punishment. You can't even get away from the punishment. You're just dead, right? Like, a punishment is, like, slap on the wrists, at worst, jail, something like that, right? Punishment, you're dead. They kill you. That's not even a punishment. You're just dead.
Specifically, the Korowai believes that mysterious deaths like diseases are attributed to the Kakua, or evil demons who take on the human form. Kakuas are said to disguise themselves as friends or family members in an attempt to gain the trust of the tribe so they can later kill them. It is Korowai tradition to perform cannibalistic rituals on anyone believed to be a Kakua so they can protect the rest of its members. It is part- Oh, but that's like nearing witch trials, right? Because then you're killing people who you perceive as like, kind of like demons trying to kill other people. But what if they're just a regular person? What if they're just a regular person? They're kind of weird. They're kind of weird, you know? They kind of look like a skinwalker. But they're like Mark Zuckerberg. A little off. Like he, like he kind of has that stare that like, he might be a lizard person. But you just kill them? Like... Like, you, you're not even going to be like, oh, yeah, no, we're going to do a test of this. We're just going to eat you. It's actually pretty surprising how welcoming they are. I mean, they probably never get visitors or very rarely. And they've been pretty, uh, pretty welcome so far. Javon for the three. This will be a uh, crazy Mr. Beast video. Hey, guys, today I'm going to see you going to escape the cannibal tribe. Bro, if Mr. Beast went here, that would be fucking nuts. Because it's a whole different vibe. You know what I mean? Like, Drew Binsky, it's like educational. With Mr. Beast... What's going on, guys? As you can see, they're literally roasting someone behind me. As you can see, they're literally turning somebody like a rotisserie chicken behind me. We're going to be trying it out. Whoever can eat the most gets $100,000. This water is like three feet deep. If I fall, I'm f***ed right now. Yeah, if you fall, you're just so fucked right now, Drew. It's not like you're going to be a little bit wet. You're going to be so fucked. It's not like you're you're like literally with cannibal. Yo, don't this shit kind of look peaceful though? Now, other than the cannibal like aspect of the video, like if you're you're just like j imagine you lived here for a week, like no technology, like no, I want to do that one day, like I really want to do that one day. Kind of got these young kids just with an axe cutting down this tall tree. It's got to be 80 feet tall. This tree. Oh, <laughs> It falls on Drew. Oh my god. It falls on him. It crushes him. Nobody's really eating, and they're kind of covering me in this ceremonial syrup. It's, like, really sweet, you know? And there's this, like, really big fire going on, and they're, like, they're like covering me in this, like, in this, like, what looks to be, like, almost seasoning, but they're telling me that it's, like, it's, like, this ritualistic thing, you know? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna help him finish it off. <laughs> Ain't know how to swing an axe. Yo! Man, if you grow up in the jungle, you get strong pretty quickly. Handling that axe at a young age. It's crazy how much they get from trees. The food, the shelter, beds. Everything comes from the tree. It's, we it's just such a different stress level, you know what I mean? Like they're like in life now. What are your stresses? Like in like, it, it, I mean, yeah, it's a third, like third world versus first world. But like in the U.S., your stresses are probably I'm going to fail class. Uh, I need to get into college. Uh, I don't want to go to work. All this other shit here. You don't have those stresses. Your stresses are literally just like I, I we need to get food. Like I'm going to die if we don't get food. It's a different level of anxiety or stress in life. Taxes. Yeah. Shit like that. Like it, it's just it's so different. I want to experience it. Oh, my God. I am so thirsty and tired and in need of a gamer drink that could possibly help me focus in some of my favorite games, such as Valorant, CSGO, Call of Duty, League of Legends. If only there was a drink that could help me with those things. Oh my God. G Fuel can help with all of those things. Code Joe B, capital J, capital B, gets you 20% off on anything in the store. How amazing is that? <laughs> Code Joe B, use it, 20% off. Thank you. Let's get back into the bed. Putting my sock over my pants so the bugs will not get inside. I'm like hey, guys, I'm doing the patent pending sock over the pants method so when the shit starts running down my leg it collects in my socks <laughs> now that does make sense bugs would be a br bugs would definitely be an issue especially if you've never been there before every bug would be biting the living shit out of you where's the toilet 
It's up to you. Pro said, where's the toilet? Uh, hey, guys. Drew Binsky here. So I was just informed that there's no toilet on this island. Uh, and I have uh, crippling hemorrhoids right now. So this is going to be pretty bad. Uh, I've also noticed that they don't have any toilet paper. So I'm going to be leaned up against a tree, wiping my ass with what looks to be leaves. Uh, but they're a little dried up. I really don't understand how I can have so many mosquito bites and spider bites if I was covering my body from head to toe. I'm telling you these bites on my body. Look at this. Uh, well, let's just hope it's not malaria. Bro just said, let's hope it's not malaria. Bro, are you fu- Did you get a shot for that shit? Okay, thank you. Mm. <laughs> yo, he ain't like that shit. He, he did not. Yo, look at his face. He's trying to act like he likes it. The Mamunas started getting ready to embark on their morning hunt, and I accepted their invitation to join them. The fuck is Drew gonna do on this morning hunt? Oh my god, I'm scared, dude. <laughs> They have a really cool way of calling people in the jungle when they get lost. Like that. It's so fascinating. This is really cool. So they're all hunting around me. They're hunting for worms, vegetables, mushrooms. Can I ask him about his, what he's wearing? Hey guys, Trubinsky here. They just handed me a mushroom and told me to eat it. Turns out it had psilocybin in it. I'm tripping balls right now. Dude, this is so wild. It's crazy how you can just put your full trust in people without even knowing them. Yeah, that water's probably cold as fuck. Nah, he really about to spear something? What is bro doing? If he catches a fish like that, I swear to fuck. Oh, he got it already? Have y'all ever tried to catch a fish? Like, in the water? No, I'm not talking, like, fishing. I'm talking, like, stab a fish with a spear. Like, it's impossible. It is the hardest fucking thing you will ever do. It's harder than catching a chicken, right? Not, 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 some, not some shit like that where they run away. Like, dude, they're fast. How the fuck did he do that? Yo, this just making me hungry, though. No lie. No lie, I would mac that shrimp. No lie, I would fuck. Yo, they cook up that shrimp. I'm eating that shit, no doubt. No doubt that's a big ass shrimp, bro. That looks. Ooh! <laughs> bro said, ooh, stop. <laughs> stop. Massive. Yeah, Within a matter of 15 that. minutes, they've caught two massive shrimp and two fish. And here comes another one. Now this looks fun as fuck though. Like this looks fun. Like being able, like dead ass. Like yo, imagine you go with all your friends and you don't bring, okay, it could go pretty bad too. Imagine you go into the middle of the woods with your friends, you bring no food. You bring no food, you gotta actually get your food. It's not like some, bro, and I, I know a lot of motherfuckers are gonna be like, oh, I've hunted before. That's different. Cause you, you were fucking in a camper or a tent or some shit. I mean, a tent's different, but like you fucking went home, right? Like, I'm saying you stay out there for like a week. The Mamunas are just like me and you. They love, they hate, they laugh, and they cry. While one man may rise above the others as a leader, another may reserve a more spiritual role in society. To call this tribe uncivilized is downright incorrect. They foster relationships and value family in a way that is lost to our smartphones. So who's to say who is civilized or not? The Mamuna tribe hasn't had the advantage of cross-cultural pollination seen in Western societies, and therefore, they haven't benefited from the economical advantages. The best thing we can do as travelers is to respect their traditions and learn from them by applying their values to our daily lives. Facts, facts. That was a W video by Drew Binsky. We don't, yo, do you guys like those videos? I'm down to watch way more of those in the future. Because I actually like, those are like the late night-esque videos. Like the big documentary based things. Like they're educational, but I usually just make fun of a lot of shit so that it's like funny.